welcome to Kelly and Terry Travels. This time we're in Harling, North Wales. Let's have a look round. It's Wales. It gets cloudy. Get over it. <laughs> We're actually going to go to uh, Harlot Castle this morning. Uh, I've just booked tickets online, very easy to do. Uh, relatively good value, well, hopefully, we'll find out. So, she waits for me. See you over in Harlot. <laughs> to Harlock this morning it's a bit grey, misty still nice and warm but uh, definitely not sitting on the beach weather hopefully it will improve this afternoon as yet another camper van goes by Seeing our first sights of the, the 12th century castle built by or Edward Longshanks to defeat the Welsh. Apparently, when this was first built, it was actually on the water, which is the very old town of Harlech. And he's doing 11 miles an hour for some reason. And that's the reason. So paraphernalia. A paraphernalia shop. Like it. Uh, Harlech, I've been told, has got the steepest hill in the UK. Where am I going? And I would say, let's look for some parking. The world's steepest street. You know, you've got to go down there for come. Mm, I've got to go down there? Yeah, towards some parking there. So that is the world's steepest street. Is down there. Luckily, Kelly's not going down that one. I think we've seen a steeper one than that, haven't we, Kelly? In uh, when it goes around that bend. <laughs> when we were in, uh, where were we? Oh, ice cream. Ice cream shop. This is very pretty. Everyone's going to be on Facebook, on uh, YouTube, rather. So there's the parking. Thankfully, not seen. Uh, that ain't happening. There's nothing in there. All right, let's carry on. That would have been ideal. So we've we've managed to park here in the, just outside the castle, and now we're uh, just paying for parking. Looks like it's about three pound thirty, isn't it? So we're just going in, have a look around the castle. Just got to pick up our tickets that we've pre booked online. over there and that where we were last time and uh, like I said the, the ocean used to come right up to the castle so let's have a look around
burn marks on the wall there. I wonder how old that is. Maybe not very. Here we see the prison tower. I wonder who the last one was in there. We were just looking at the construction of the wall here. Obviously the stonemasons, as you can see, have cut beautiful flat stones here. But inside you've got all old slate, rubble, just piled in. So where we think it's blocks just gone up, it's quite the opposite. It's just outside stonemasonry, inside labourers just collecting stones from the local countryside. Quite interesting. And obviously that's... Uh, caved away over the years but I think this is 700 years old 800 years old it's in pretty good condition so that's the the north lookout tower and the north gate entrance we swing around that takes you into the actual castle itself so we're inside the the main section of the castle behind us is the west door eventually looks out to Ireland so across the sea is Ireland and we see the uh, the holes that's where the uh, the bar obviously would have slotted in to protect this door slide back so it feels really deep and then locks back into place. Quite incredible. I'd have thought this had been the old drainage system, taking the water away from the inside, under the floor and out. I recognise, there's the Queen. Great view of the, um, the floor stones which would have held the uh, the beams. So we've got one there, that's the next level. Right up the tower. Look, it's not! So they didn't bother cutting away that bit of the mountain. But uh, the walls are so impressive. Even to this day you can see where the floor would have been. Uh, this is in such great condition. Now the base of the the two main towers, the Grand Hall. Here we see uh, some of the arsenal or cannons. This is obviously original masonry that's broken away, laid out. Well, yeah, cannon shot just rounded uh, boulders. Again, this is a three story. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're going to try and get up. So you come up about 50 odd steps. Kelly's been very brave. The Menace, that takes you over the prison tower, the prison tower. And there we see the mountain range. It's a little bit of a climb up. <laughs> oh. Right, it's the old town of Harlech. Kelly's praying at the chapel tower. Get around there quickly, so, just let me go. so and she's off. <laughs> uh, world record pace. <laughs> yeah, Kelly's trying to do the four minute mile around the walls. So we'll go down these steps and back out the castle so you only have about 20 minutes. So that's Harlech. 
gone round. Doesn't take much more than an hour, but uh, I think Cali would um, not recommend it if you suffer from any form of uh, height problems. What would you say? What would you say? Do not go near it if you've got problems with heights. Just check out the cuteness of this little Welsh town. This is Llanbedra uh, in Snowdonia. Sweet rooms, uh, five rooms. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's shouting our name, Kel, to have a pint in there, isn't it? Mm. Oh, look at that lovely little place. Right next to the river. Yeah, this is uh, very nice, very picturesque. Anyway. Well, we've had a Nice little walk around Barmouth, Kelly, after this morning. What do you think of the town for anyone wanting to come? How would you rate it? We've obviously got a cloudy day today. For everything here that you'd want. Um, I, I probably wouldn't want to stay in Barmouth. No. That's just me being a bit snobby. Um, but... Yeah, it's got everything you want. There's some beautiful restaurants that you can do need to put nothing down. Yeah. It's very much... Um... There's a lot of people here as well, obviously, because we're here. But um, in general, there's a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. There's, to me, I find it's a very much an old seaside resort. Uh, rough and ready crowd. Salt of the earth grits. Um, fish and chips and... Uh, Pint of beer sitting on the on the wall. So if you're looking for something a bit more than that, it's not really a place for you. Though the views are fantastic. The beach looks great as well, though, doesn't it? Yeah, loads of space on the beach. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, from Barmouth, uh, we will enjoy these drinks, and we'll catch you in the next place.